and we are all the spoiler kings. How you guys doing? Good, Great. Man. That was a good night last night. That was awesome. Ooh. <laughs> Greatest night in the night. history of television. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as some as, might say. As, uh, as one person said. <laughs> um so yeah, so we're we're gonna get into and into that for sure. Cool. You guys wanna talk about some of the I got the 15 like kind of biggest awards that I can think of. Um yeah, so let's get this going. I just asked you guys, so what, what what do you think it was the best best part of the night, like the best moment of the night? Not the worst. We we go over that, but the best <laughs> thing you really saw that was like wow. Hmm. Um Hmm. That's a good question. I honestly, I gotta say, um, Troy, what's his name? Um, the guy who, uh, Troy, uh, Coster, Coaster, um, mm-hmm. the guy who won from uh, Coda as best supporting actor, his speech was, was, was pretty good. Uh, you know, I think it was very, very heart, heartfelt, you know, and, and on top of that, it was, you know, for the, you know, the deaf community. So, which was like a big win for, for them. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought it was a lot. There was a lot of like one first time kind of things that were pretty awesome. But yeah, what do you guys think about the hosts? That's what my, my thing. I, I've never liked Amy Schumer ever. Yeah. Anything she's ever done. Every time I see her, I'm just like, I almost want to throw up. Just <laughs> <laughs> the word funny. I never thought I she was funny. Yeah, I don't ever think she's really funny. She has not even one liners. She's not even good for one liners. Like she doesn't she doesn't have creative, you know, setups for her jokes and she doesn't she doesn't do it for me. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna I mean, go back to Chris Rock, but you probably can't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> but what about yeah. the other ones? I, I like the I don't like Wanda Sykes either. I'm not a fan of her. Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah. Wanda, I, so, I, I don't mind her. I just don't think she's funny. Mm. Like yeah. she says stuff, I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. See I what think you did she there. was funny like in the late 90s or like she had her moments back then, but she's been overusing her like um, her snarkiness and like her being, I don't know, I can't even describe it, but like the thing that she does. I think she's overused it. I think she needs to like progress or grow from that type of comedy. Um, not saying that it doesn't work. It, it works for her, but it's just, it's, it's played out in my opinion. What do you guys think about her? Besides what you said, Brian. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, she's yeah. an angry black militant woman. It's just not funny anymore. Sorry. Come with a yeah. joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me something. Yeah, she was even even yesterday. Like I feel like when she went to like the the Hall of Fame or whatever kind of museum she went to, I was like, so I'm like, so you just playing stupid? I I hate that. I hate that look too. You know, like playing dumb. You know, like I was I on anybody. I think that looks like silly, but I was never a big fan of her. You know, Re- Regina King. Was no, hard. That wasn't Regina. King, was it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Who's the the third? Uh, Talking about from Boondocks? No, no, um, from the host. Yeah, so it was Regina King because you know Regina King is the the unbelievable uh, uh, actress. All that Regina Hall. Regina Hall is what you're talking about. Ah, there you go. Because Regina Hall, that's why I was someone that had the joke of I guess Will and uh, Jada the first in the the first Mm -hmm. Oscars. She said her joke. I was like, oh man, that's messed up. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 i mean even that she had that weird part where she called up all the guys you know all the sexy guys um yeah regina hall not regina king oh regina hall okay yeah yeah i, know. Yeah, yeah, it was I don't know why i couldn't put a face on her yeah regina I love king her. is uh she... watchman and... oh, yeah. uh, lots of stuff yeah regina, a lot I mean, of stuff. boondocks she, she she voices huey <laughs> she she does all of it. she's awesome yeah mm-hmm. yeah but i mean overall how would be besides the big part of the show minus that how else would you guys like rate the oscars this year usually they're pretty dang boring like they're just kind of <laughs> <laughs> i 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's Jenny King is a queen. Yeah, she's awesome. But no, it was boring. It was, I mean, besides you know the obvious. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the coolest part was that the 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 actors were right there on the stage. That was also the problem. <laughs> and I, <laughs> we can, I I want to get into this afterwards, but I mean, I feel like a lot of people got you know didn't get the respect they needed. They didn't get the uh, I mean, the, the time, the time that they deserve, you know, when you realize someone, th- someone this great has done something this awesome that they've been trying their whole life doing to do and not getting that. And I just, I, I, I was, un, I was unhappy about a few. Yeah. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Monday. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and Ellen. Yeah, that was, that was a, I like Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, he's he's got his, he's got his moments. Um, man, how long ago was that one? That was a while ago, wasn't it? Maybe <laughs> um, like oh, three years ago. Two, two. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get we'll into, get, get into that yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I thought kind of I, I boring, but this is how it is now. It's just. It, it 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 felt like all the other ones. It didn't feel mm-hmm. anything special, minus you know the part that everyone's talking about. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's right. He brought in all the random tourists into it. Yeah. Shit, <laughs> that's right. That was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, every every so often you have like some a good one where like you have some good hosts, but and then the whole thing with with Jimmy Kimmel and Matt Damon. That, that, that rival, that, that's awesome too. I mean, it's funny. It's just funny. Yeah. And then, yeah. as much as Ellen might be a terrible person, she's actually funny. <laughs> she, she's actually funny. At least, at least you know, you and you like joke a little bit. All right, you know, that's selfies. Right. That was good at the time. That's you know, right. do a group selfie. Those things are entertaining, at least. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. And, and well, I know. Uh, if Will or you answered the other one, like any any good parts besides besides uh, the obvious, besides the overshadowing, um, yeah. I mean, I'm not one to really watch the Oscars like that. Uh, I had it just playing in the background while I kind of took care of some house household mm-hmm. chores. But um, I was happy that that Quest Love. I mean, Brian said it earlier uh, off. That. Offline, but Quest Love, you know, won an award. He's from, would you say, the Roots, right? The Roots, yeah. Him and Black Thought, the leaders of the Roots. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about it. They were Jimmy um, Fallon all the time. Jimmy Fallon, yeah. And times the when Roots they would pan over the camera to him, like, that'd be the highlight for me when I'd watch Jimmy Fallon. I'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> and, yeah. I mean, Love made like, great music. Greatest Just, drummer like I've ever seen that. That's not the rock drumming, because, you know, you get the rock drummers that are unbelievably great. And then mm-hmm. someone who, who has just rhythm and can keep the beat going, especially when in a rap thing, it's it's unbelievable to be able to do that. And I, he's the best I've ever seen, and yeah. his knowledge of music was great. And it was a documentary about music, and I, you know the love of music and how it, it's it's evolved and all those things. And it's a great documentary. You guys can look check it out. But right after the thing happened, I mean, happened, he gets he gets his Oscar, and no one's paying attention. People don't even know that that happened. I wonder what was that because there was a lot of pre-recorded ones. Was that one of the ones like pre-recorded that they just threw in no. between, or was that a li- was that a live one? That was live because um, the camera even like even though it was on Questlove him accepting the award, the camera uh-huh. did a little zoom in on Chris Rock <laughs> and how he was just like shocked and stunned, just like oh no shit, what, okay. am, I, what am I doing here? Yeah, <laughs> so that that was definitely a live one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy said uh, the only one. Of the trio this Sunday that was funny was was Wanda Sykes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because she she did like self, like like making fun of herself kind of stuff. The, I really the only part was she came dressed out as as King Richard. That was the only funny part I found of her. You know, <laughs> that was yeah, you, know, you know, and then you know all three of them. That was probably the only funny part from any three of them. So because Regina Hall's not really a comedian. No. No, yeah, and then uh, <laughs> Derpy, I'm here to be noticed by the three kings of YouTube. <laughs> Always, <Hey>. what's up, <laughs> what's up Derpy? He just he just deserves the Oscar though. Yeah, we're gonna get into that in a second. And then uh, I know, well, Brian, what about you? Any really good moments? 
that will with will say but that quest love was amazing i wish we would have saw like i saw the after the the video afterwards of Denzel and Samuel Jackson. That's something mm-hmm. I would love to see seen live. Um, even like when Will Smith won the award and how Denzel got up and was really, you know, encouraging for him. That was really cool. Cause I, I mean, we talk about best, greatest, great best actor. Denzel might not made a lot of money with King, with uh, his movie, but come on. He did amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, mean, I know we were talking off screen. No one's going to watch Shakespeare, but yeah. Macbeth is one of my favorite. Oh, Macbeth and Othello is definitely one of my favorites. And, and he, <laughs> he crushed. Like, that was such, and that was, I, I think that was better than, than Will Smith, but Will Smith was in a bigger movie. So, yeah. But, it was a bigger movie, but come on. Who's mm. the better actor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that COVID pat down was a double standard. Yeah, yeah, that's why I started bringing it up. It was it was kind of funny at first, but then it, it started going out a little too much. Where you're like, all right, it's getting a little icky, you know what I mean? You know, and then they, she actually did the pat down on him. I'm like, all right, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. too much. Yeah, 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 cringy, very cringy. Exactly. That's exactly what yeah. it was. All but right. that's what happens when a non comedian tries to be funny. It's either gonna hit. Or it's gonna be cringy, and most of the time it's gonna be cringy, you know. But yeah, yeah, it was just, and I think be, besides the one thing that everyone's talking about, it's it was an average kind of show. I I gotta say I just, this though, Coda winning, you know, the best the best one, best movie. I mean, that was really cool. You know, seeing all the deaf people up there and accepting the war and I mean, that itself was really awesome but i don't think it got everything it deserved because it was overshadowed everything was over people were had their minds were gone oh yeah, yeah. marvin a really good one i forgot about that making the stallion singer bruno that was yeah. really cool but it, it my was only sad right. that he was there yeah yeah, with... yeah yeah um um Lin-Manuel. Um, but also, a lot of people are upset about it. Is why they wait so long into the show. Like that was definitely towards the end of it, where like most of the kids are in bed. I mean, most yeah. of people are starting to kind of you know turn it off and get ready for the bed. It was like you that should have been one of the first ones. I think you know, like start it off on a high note and then just keep it going. You know, instead, you know, I know the Beyonce one was really good. The the Billie Eilish one, I was. I, her winning was kind of like, you know, but yeah, you know, I'm not a big Billy Eilish fan. Billy Eilish, who me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean she she whispers. I I know she can sing, but all her songs are just whispering, you know. And that's what she did up there. I was like, just like ah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it did, I mean that performance is kind of eh, you know. But uh, we got Jimmy. Uh, who would like to see the next host next year? Honestly, why not Peyton Manning? Right at <laughs> this point. I was gonna uh, say Reaver, my I, Will Smith and um and Kanye. Oh God! <laughs> Put them both together. <laughs> Let them host. <laughs> it's gonna be what I can battle see. of the battle of the traumas or what? Whoever they're gonna do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Reaver McIntyre is white white people petty. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. Good I'm call. not. A, I'm not a country <laughs> music fan. I. I, I do not. Um, but but that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen is is what happened after the whole Jan Jackson thing, and they got the most plain vanilla, like like boringest freaking artist. Then and that's what they're gonna do with with next year is gonna be so bland and so boring and so safe, you know. And it's just gonna be <laughs> not not fun. Hey guys, no jokes. She can sing, sing. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh God. Johnny Depp oh. and Amber Heard at this point. <laughs> Wowzers. Uh, if we're gonna do that, we're gonna go Kanye and uh Kim Kardashian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just air it out, right? Yeah. You know how like <laughs> how this year they had uh all the like people from all the old kind of classic movies come out and do it. Is, is that what they're gonna do? Have like all these toxic relationship people come out? Like Taylor Swift and Kanye gonna be out here. Too. Kanye and Kim, Kanye and Pete. 
<laughs> like, oh my god, that would be hilarious. Just... See them both get over the award. Like, oh, they look at each other like, oh my god, oh, slap uh, yeah. that. Just go all out. <laughs> but I could see them doing Will uh, Will Smith and uh, and Chris Rock. Honestly, yeah, I th- yeah. I think they're both professional enough. You know, I mean, minus what happened later. For 20 years. That's yeah. so crazy. Yeah. So I, I can see that. You know, and then it kind of sets a good standard where, like, hey, listen, shit happens. People get heated, but, you know, we're professionals and we can move on. I don't know. Jada in August. Nah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the fat guy that'd be singing in the cars with the stars? What? Oh, the the Corbin. Irish guy, Corbin. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, okay. He's Irish. I thought he was like English. But English, yeah, I don't know. Corbin. I know you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate him. He's a d bag. <laughs> James, there you go. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. All right, here. Let's uh, let's start bringing this stuff down. <laughs> yeah, him. Um. So I just got like the 15 kind of bigger ones that won. Um. Some of these are kind of obvious. Best costume design went to Corella, which mm-hmm. if you've seen that movie, that yeah. I mean, it's about a freaking fashion artist, a fashion designer. So it better be. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that was it. Um, best original screenplay, Belfast, which I guess I don't hate it. It was all right. But, you know, I mean, as a as an original screenplay, I guess, you know, I cool, but yeah. I just I I don't know. I just feel like they wanted to give what's his name the one uh, an award. Um, I can't think of his name. A participation uh, trophy, if you will. Yeah, this yeah, is like it's a, it's a no brainer. Yeah. So the the big winner of the night was Dune and Disney. Disney won six awards and Dune won six awards. So you know those are definitely you know big one. But it didn't win any of the big big ones. It went all like sound and and. Some of the smaller ones, mm-hmm. but Dune visual effects for sure. Although it beat it beat Spider Man, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, which I think that was one of the only categories Spider Man was in, so and it it lost. <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, you got a. Oh, he said uh, Emma Stone's Corella. She killed it. Oh, she did. You know that sequel is going to be super super awesome. Uh, for the pitch pictures, did you guys see all the movies? Uh. Me and Alfredo did. So there's a playlist on the channel where we, we watched every single movie. Um, we kind of did it a few years now. Um, this is like our third year that we've done it. And uh, it's cool. It's cool. There's some movies that I've watched that are like my one of my favorite movies. Like The Father is the one that uh, Anthony Hopkins won last year. One of my favorite movies now because it was, it was just so, so freaking good. You know, and I, I, I never would have watched it. You know, so. But, um, yeah, another Dune, best production design. Uh, what else we got? So I saved the best ones, obviously, for the last. So as we get to there, well, best animated feature. Did I mean maybe that Flea uh, movie? But yeah, no. there's no I, I way. Had watch, I've had to watch all the animated movies in the last <laughs> two years. Encanto was the best one. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it, it's got the music and everything. It's just it was. I don't know. Such a great, great one. Uh, best score, Dune. Yeah. Which is funny because do I have that sound effect? I think I still have it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This 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 one an Oscar. I don't know if you guys you can hear it. Nope. No. No. Ah, what the hell? No, nah, it's okay. It's because of the pictures up. <laughs> uh never hear. But what happened last time? You guys gonna hear it? Yeah. Very good. Um. Oh no, I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, what the? Um. Can you hear it now? No. 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 Show I mean, when we do, I can do it for everybody. Yeah. If you can. Just when it wants yeah. to. <laughs> but it's just, it's the screaming noise. That's one that one best best score. Um, best adapted screenplay, Coda. Coda. Yeah, which 
I'm down for. Uh, best documentary film. So this was the Questlove one that he won, Summer of mm-hmm. Soul, which uh, I'll probably check out. Like, I, I didn't really know any of the movies that were going on. There was a few of the documentaries that I saw. There was uh, the other one, um, the basketball one. The what one that the Shaq and um and uh and, basketball something like that basketball queens yeah, or whatever basketball, some yeah Curry and Shaq one yeah that I want to watch now too so I definitely want to check that one out too but yeah so this is the one that Quest Love won an Oscar for so and I I remember seeing but trailers for it and previews for it and I just never got around to watching it so I'm definitely gonna add this one to my list uh what else we got. Uh, best song. So I this beat in Encanto, like Billie Eilish won an Academy Award for it. Her and her brother, right? Her and her brother, yeah. So, but it beat Encanto, which is like what? That's questionable, right there. I that's what I think. I I, I think I think that is too. Someone got paid for that one. I don't know. Yeah. Oh no! So he said, "Did you see the Xbox doc yet?" No, I have not. No, it's on my I, list. I have downloaded it though. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have. No, I, think he's, I think he said it was on YouTube too. I think or something like that. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah. I had. Reba got robbed. Yeah, yeah. There, there were some good songs for the best song this year, but, but I mean, how are you gonna go against the the song that was like number one on the like on everything on the billboard? People yeah. were listening. To, I, was, I was in the gym listening. People lifting, listening. Uh, <laughs> surface pressure. Like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So here and now we're starting with the big ones. Best director was Power of the Dog, which I'm cool with that because the way that movie was, it, and to be a director for that, like, like you had to know something because. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that, it was a lot. That was, I mean, it was good though. It was still good. It just wasn't. I mean, what else would you give it to? I I think best director for sure. But that's about it. That's the scenery it. was awesome too. I mean, being in Montana and seeing the mountains and them, I mean, it that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um. And then we got uh. Best Supporting Actress, Adriana, Adriana DeBose, DeBose from West Side Story. So, so. I, don't know. I don't know. Adriana DeBose, that was good. I, I was happy she got Supporting Actress. That was cool. I don't like that's not a story, but she did a good job. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of who who are, there, who are the other people up for the Oscar. I had no, I didn't remember any of them, honestly. Okay. Really? Uh, Best role. actress in a in a supporting role. Uh, Ooh, wow, Kristen Dunst. Yeah, Judy Dench, Chris, Kristen Dunst. Yeah. I I heard Kristen Dunst was really 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 good. I haven't seen that movie. No, um, but I heard Kristen Dunst was the power of the dog. Oh no, not power of the dog. Oh, I was thinking I was thinking of the other white chick, yeah. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, the yeah, one yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, Spencer, yeah. She, she's a lead actress though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Judy Dench was all right. Uh, I haven't seen The Lost Daughter, so I, I don't know Jesse Buckley. Um, you know, Ellis from uh King Richard was okay, but I don't know. I guess I mean, she would have the biggest role. I don't know, I have to say, yeah, but what Jimmy just said, uh, I have to say, I'm still bothered. That Regina King didn't get any type of nomination, the harder they fall. That was, yeah, amazing. the harder they fall. Was amazing, dude. At the beginning, at the beginning, when I was like, "Did he just shoot him in the face? Did that just happen?" <laughs> what? Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah she. Good point, Jimmy. Uh, also, no one from that movie. That movie didn't get any any kind of award nominations or anything, which is BS because that was a really great movie. You know, mm-hmm. I would definitely say it was better than Licorice Pizza in Belfast. <laughs> You know, like in my opinion, but yeah, you, know. you know what licorice pizza is. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you have fucking Paul Anderson, you know, so everyone's got to be up his butthole about it. But 
<laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, I, I thought I even thought like um, the harder they fall was probably a little bit better than Nightmare Alley, and I really like Nightmare Alley. So, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that movie though. That kind of sucks. Um, but she's the first queer, openly queer uh, actress to win. I think the award. <laughs> so, whatever. Like, uh, Kristen was that queen that died. Yeah, and Spencer. Okay. <laughs> that must be Fredo. <laughs> or maybe Martin. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, so she won. Um, this one 100% deserves it. Uh, Troy Cooster, Cooster yeah. from Coda. He was the father from, the, from it. 100% agree. Yeah. And I think he had one of the better speeches of the night. Uh, <laughs> Jessica Chastain, best actress. <laughs> mm, okay. Eyes of the Tammy Faye. Yes. What's up? Uh, P- P- pajama. What? Pajama. Um, yeah, yes, Pajama Life. Awful. It was an <laughs> awful movie. I can't believe people went to go see it multiple times. I don't even understand it. It was so bad. I know I, I left a comment on, on her channel. So uh, if you're watching, go check her channel out. She does a lot of uh, movie reviews as well. So, um, but yeah, so <laughs> I, I watched her uh, her review of Liquor's Pizza. I was like, yes. Like she got it. It was like, she's like, I don't get it. I was like, I don't get it either. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, we got it. It's not Fredo. <laughs> he said he's taller and blacker. There's only one other choice, guys. <laughs> Mark? Nah. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Oh man. Uh, is that uh not that queen? Not that queen that died. Oh, the, the other queen. Uh should have been Nicole Kidman or Olivia Coleman. For best actress? Ah Nicole man. I, I, I can't give it to no kid Nicole Kidman, like you said. Well, I, I and I haven't Regina seen the King. lost daughter. Um, Regina King, uh, she would have been supporting actress. Supporting, oh, okay. she would have been in there. She wasn't main, right? You're right. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I, I don't think I've seen any of these movies besides being the Ricardos. So, I can't really give an honest opinion. I, mean, I heard great things about Kristen, you know, uh, Stewart. Which I did too, and Spencer. Because, you know, who, who the heck yeah. watched, watched her besides in Twilight? And who watched Twilight? So, plain and simple. <laughs> who watched yeah. her? <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, I think it. I think this movie, The Eyes of Tammy, Tammy Faye, also won Best uh, Makeup, which I'm like, yeah, I better have because it's Tammy Faye. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, Jessica Chastain, she's got an Oscar. Uh, then we're down to our last two. Um, so Best Picture went to Coda. What do you guys think about that? I, I loved it. I thought that they should have got more of a spotlight. You know, we understand why they didn't, but I, I loved it so much. It was. So touching. It was. It was really heartfelt and really. I, I thought it was just super well done. You know, it's like this everything. Um, I don't know. Did you see this one, Will? I did not, but from <laughs> from what I've heard, it hit the mark. So I'm gonna just go with the the masses and say, yeah, Coda probably deserved it. Yeah. It, 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 that, well, I know with me and Fredo, we were ranking everything, and Coda was definitely in both of our top three. You know, I think King Richard and Coda were were both in our top movies. So, you know, so yeah, I mean, I'm 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 not mad. <laughs> Where like last year, No Man Land won, and oh god, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got a few more every year. Uh, they make some black and white movie and claim it's art artistic. Artistic means terrible. True. <laughs> True. I'm trying to think what was what was this year's um. Artsy fartsy movie. Cause well, I guess Belt Ma, Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Doom, King Belfast. Richard, Liquor Belfast. Belfast. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Belfast was probably your artsy fartsy one, but it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it was black and white too. I forgot. Um it was like Roma. Like me and Fredo, we cracked up with Roma because there's a scene in Roma um where it's just a pile of dog crap and a car <laughs> just rolls over it. Like it's 
<laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. It's a pile of dog poop, and then you just see the car just back over it, and it, it just splits. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I just, I just, I, I remember texting Fredo. This is years ago when it was just me and him. You know, we were the only guys on the channel, and it was like our first year doing it, doing the reviews. And I'm like, what the hell is up with the dog crap scene? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, is but this, this movie did. yeah 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 um so before we get into the last one which we got uh yeah she played princess diana really good was that what spencer was about with chris uh kristen stewart oh i don't i have no idea yeah yeah, New House and Belfast. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It, it was definitely on my bottom of my list. I didn't care for it that much, um, but yeah, it was definitely the black and white artsy movie. Yep. Yeah. So, the last one that's gonna lead lead into our other topic <laughs> is uh, Will Smith won Best Actor for King Richard. What'd you guys think about that one? I mean, obviously. I mean, I told you, if it wasn't for Denzel, there's no one else. They should have only had two people in it. They should have said, is it Denzel or is it Will Smith? <laughs> a lot of people are saying Andrew Garfield got uh, got robbed. Yeah. No. Like, he should have had it. No. Yeah. Andrew Garfield yeah. shouldn't be. Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch, as much as I did not like what he did, he still, I mean, he acted well. I enjoyed him in it. Just sound like a British cowboy. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, that's all my only problem. Yeah, yeah. I think Javier Bard, Bardem should not have been on this list, like right. at all. No, it, it, he wasn't that great in in being Ricardo's. So, um, Andrew Garfield, the Tick Tick Boom, I haven't seen it yet, but it, it really didn't get any other awards. Like this was the only thing it was in in there for. But people said they loved it. You know, um, that it was a really good movie, and he he was really good. But Spider Man, he's so good. No. Okay. They're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would have been between Denzel and, and Will for sure. And no one's gonna watch a Macbeth movie. So, <laughs> so definitely watch Denzel's in it. That's the only reason you watch it. <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, I mean, he he was, it was that's worth it. It's worth it. Even if you kind of like Shakespeare, that was that was so good, so well done. But yeah, but Will Smith, his first his first Oscar. Um, this is the fifth time a black man won um, best actor, so you know another big kind of big deal. You know, unfortunately, got overshadowed by another event, but yeah, everyone's kind of saying he deserves it. Yep, he, Will Smith deserved it. Uh, come on, you didn't like he hawk Doctor Strange. Oh, uh -huh. I get it. He haw he haw Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, Spencer is about Diana and her marriage to Charles. Hmm. That's right up his alley. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>